player focuses on controlling the ball in the air. The player lifts the ball with the inside of the left or right foot and brings the ball to the ground. Encourage the player to be relaxed, to quickly attack the ball after receiving it, and use the arms and a small jump of the planting foot for proper balance. This exercise is similar to the previous one, but the control of the ball is done using the outside foot. Execute more repetitions using both feet. The player lifts the ball in the air and controls it with the instep. Encourage the player to make contact with the ball high in the air and accompany the ball to the ground. After the ball is on the ground, the player can perform dribbling or feint, situations arising during the course of a game. It is more difficult to control the ball while running. The player throws it in the air and controls it, orienting the ball towards the path of his run. Alternate the exercise using both feet. This type of control is very common during a game. The ball is accompanied to the ground using the sole of the foot. This type of control results in directing the ball towards the path of the player's run and prepares the player for the next technical move. The player lifts the ball and receives the ball with the inside foot while rotating 360 degrees. The exercise requires high degree of balance and joint mobility.